The Teacher Service Commission and the teachers' unions are once again embroiled in a bitter war of words. Exercise. And while the TSC says the exercise seeks to improve the quality of education, the Kenya National Union of Teachers and the Kenya Union of Post-Primary Education Teachers Officials have warned their members against signing the appraisal forms. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for protecting me. Barely three months after the Code of Conduct and Ethics for Teachers were tabled in Parliament, the Teacher Service Commission has swung to action. They set the rules on promotion and demotion of teachers based on their performance, an exercise that has ignited fresh acrimony between the TSC and the giant teachers' unions, NAT and CUPET. It's not a punitive uh, instrument. It is meant to improve the performance of the teacher and by extension improve the performance and the welfare of the learners. No teacher of this country should handle that form. That is a hot potato, don't touch it. Until the unions sit with the Teacher Service Commission, go through the forms and they are approved about the forms before they are sneaked into schools. Under the exercise already rolled out in most counties, the head teachers will be assessed on resource management and the maintenance of teaching standards, and thereafter they will sign performance contracts. The teachers will be appraised on time management, discipline, creativity in teaching, and even output in co-curricular activities. But this has only opened a fresh battle zone between the TSC and the teachers' unions, which now claim that the government and the TSC are working overtime to conceal the rot in the management of the country's education sector and to unfairly punish teachers over the poor performance of public schools. This is an illegal way, a backdoor way of trying to alter the terms and uh, terms of service and conditions that teachers have already been have already signed. And we are saying no, if this is monitored con continuously, yeah, continuously on daily, weekly, and now uh, the targets for the quarter are also checked, we won't have a situation where things are going wrong. And no won't be able to arrest a situation also where we are being told that there are children who won't get up to class six and they can't read that right. NAT National Secretary General Wilson Sosion has already warned teachers not to sign the forms that until TSC and the teachers' unions agree on the content of the appraisal and performance contracts. Cupet Secretary General Akelo Misori rejected the appraisals on grounds that teachers must first be consulted and motivated appropriately before they can sign any agreement. But TSC now says it will take disciplinary action on any teacher who fails to complete and submit the appraisal report to their supervisor. They should be able to set the target of what the learners will achieve in reading, in numeracy, and uh, they check in a class two, are they building on it? And uh, as we move on to class eight, we are not going to lament that this has been done, this has not been done. That is very necessary in today's time and age. And actually it should be, have been implemented like yesterday. We see a situation where the Teacher Service Commission wakes up one morning and just wants to push in documents that have not been agreed upon by the stakeholders. Now the teachers unions say this is just part of the government strategy to conceal the real challenges facing the country's education sector. TSC on the other hand says performance contracting is not a new thing in the country's public service. But will the signing of these performance contracts better the quality of the country's education sector? Only time will tell. Muremi Mwangi, KTN News. Nairobi.